Today I want to talk about the new feature that was added to VS Code just a few hours ago called hands-off. You can think of hands-off as basically a way to construct workflows, which is the evolution of, up until now we had tools like prompts, instructions, chat mods, and this is the next evolution to make everything work together in a cohesive way. So basically if I'm using a, a chat mod and at the end of it there is a reasonable uh, and logical order of things like moving to the next chat mode in line. So workflows are basically a uh, hands-off is basically a way to define this, giving the user the best options to move ahead in the plan. And what's a better way to uh, showcase this by seeing how it uh, fits inside the new uh, plan mode that was just added last week. So if I'm going to open uh, the drop down here, First of all, we can see that the plan mod well, has uh, graduated and been promoted to the uh, built-in types. So up until last week, it was in the part of the custom chat mods, and now it is in the permanent ones. This means the plan mod is here to stay. And to be honest, now that we have this, I don't really want to see the ask and edit more. I'm not going to use it. I would love to have an option to disable, uh, choose which one I can see. And I would definitely start using plan and agent more. Uh, but if we move to the uh, config uh, section so I can open, let's move this for a second so we can see. Uh, inside the chat mode, we can see a new section called hands off. It's an array of objects of type label, agent prompt, and optional send. So the label is what is going to be shown to the user as. Uh, possible handoffs and the agent is what is the next agent uh, chat mode that uh, uh, the handoff will be executed in. So in this case, both of the options are in agent, but uh, it could be any chat mode, also custom chat modes. So let's uh, say that I have an agent uh, chat mode for security audits and another one just for front end and another one just for back end. So we can basically construct a workflow that each one can tell you, okay, move on to the next part in the flow uh, to review the security, and now the front end, and now the back end. And each chat mode will, will have its own tools and prompt. So basically we have a nice guided workflow that we can uh, introduce to our teams, organization, or for us just to work in a better way. The prompt is the part that uh, this is what will actually be inputted to the agent or the chat mode in the uh, input and there is an optional send. Send through means that this prompt will be uh, automatically applied, meaning that once I'm going to choose the handoff, so it will move to that agent chat mode, apply the prompt in the input box, and also will click enter uh, on my BF. So let's look how this uh, actually works. Let's open the uh, chat window again. And I'm on the plan mode, and I'm going to ask uh, the agent to create a short plan to add a button that adds to do's. This is the uh, builds on the previous example that I showed for the plan uh, mode demo. So let's see how it works. I'm going to click enter. Let's zoom a little bit out. So it's now going to create a plan. Nice. So I'll zoom a little bit more. The important part is the lower part, proceed from plan. And we can see the two options, start implementation or open in editor. So basically, um, we are getting the previous plan mod. It's even asking us questions. For the demo purpose, I won't answer them. I will just show you what happens if I'm going to click start implementation. So take a look here on the chat mode and in the input uh, part. So you can see that it moved to the agent mode and entered the prompt start implementation. Now, this is the one with the send option not specified. So by default, it's false, meaning that it didn't auto apply the new prompt. So I can now add on top of the uh, suggested prompt and then click enter. So this is a nice uh, human in the loop, HIDL uh, workflow. 
And let's say that if this was not the built-in agent mode, but another custom mode. So also for that mode, as I described before, after I would uh, apply the, this prompt, it would show me the next handoff. So this is the workflow that we can uh, create and we can create quite complicated and elaborated uh, workflows. Now, uh, I can still go back to the plan mode and it will keep uh, the previous proceed from plan. So the opening editor, which has the send through, will auto apply this option. So take a look now, I'm gonna click on this option and we can see that we have saved the plan, which is the prompt of that uh, mod. And it also auto applied it. So now this plan that is was uh, specified here will be opened inside the file and it created plan and B. And if I'm gonna click on it, so we can see that we have a nice plan. And uh, now I can uh, uh, continue from here. So I can, I'm already in the agent mode and I can basically tell the agent uh, myself, okay, please follow the plan MD uh, and uh, start implementing it. And all of the plan is specified here. So I can already see the potential here, uh, creating workflows, connecting, connecting them to archetypes for different personas in the organization. This is an amazing way to introduce agentic workflows, but give proper guidelines and how to move in them. I really love this uh, new feature and for sure I'm going to introduce this uh, to my team and my organization. Really excited about this. I think this is really put, uh, puts everything in a direct uh, line of VS Code being a tool that you can use in an organized way. Really love it. And hopefully I'm gonna create a, some more elaborated uh, workflow and I'm gonna introduce it. Maybe I'm gonna show another demo. So enjoy using it and as usual, amazing work for the VS Code team. Bye-bye.